It was a calmer week for Wall Street. The volatility index was at its lowest since October 2018. U.S. shares have been pretty much resilient throughout the week, but appeared to take a breather on Thursday. We saw a quieter session amid a lack of drivers to push the rally. The S&P 500, a gorge of large cap U.S. equities, hit months high, but retreated at a key resistant level. In the Asian markets, trading was choppy. The data received this week provided more insights into the Chinese economy. Looking at the graphs, we can see that the slowdown in China continues. It has deepened since the beginning of the year, despite the stimulus measures. Now, the question is, how will policymakers respond to the weaker expansion in the industrial production and retail sales? In the last five days, we we see that the U.S. shares were more resilient as muted CPI figures reassure investors that the Fed would stay patient. But at the same time, economic data was quite solid, boosting confidence that the U.S. economy is still strong. European shares were firmer towards the end of the week and hit months high after the no deal Brexit was rejected. In the FX market, major currencies were firmer against the U.S. dollar. The index tracking the performance of the US of a dollar against a basket of currencies dropped for five straight sessions. Volatility was definitely in the pound, with Brexit vote, votes taking place from Tuesday to Thursday. The Brexit deal was voted down on Tuesday, followed by the vote for a no-deal Brexit on Wednesday. Yesterday, UK lawmakers approved a short and long delay for Brexit. Sterling pairs move between gains and losses as traders position for the different steps in the Brexit chaos. In the commodities markets, global oil prices had found support from the API and EIA reports at the beginning of the week, with a surprise draw in crude oil inventories. Thank you for your time. Please follow us on our Twitter page for more updates on the market.